Meanwhile, the Nigeria Railway Corporation, NRC, says it has temporarily suspended its services along the Abuja-Kaduna route due to unforeseen circumstances. The NRC made this announcement via its official Twitter page. It said further clear communication would be given in due course. Oh, we now have joining us President uh, President General Nigeria Union of Railway Workers, uh, Comrade Innocent uh, Luka Ajiji. Thanks for joining us on the news brief. Thank you very much. All right, so let's just get a clear picture. Uh, can you bring us up to speed as regards all that ha happened um, yesterday and uh, what is going on right now as we speak? Okay, thank you very much for having me once more. Um, yesterday, the train left Abuja, I mean, sorry, Rigasa, normally as usual. So around 8 o'clock, between um, uh, Dute and Rijana, the, track, the train was attacked by the bandits or whatever they call them. And, uh, you know, they exploded the track and, uh, and quite the, the portion that was exploded was quite lengthy. So that brought the train to a standstill because um, most of the wheels derailed. And so as a result of that, there's nothing else the driver could do by moving the train either forward or backward. So as uh, information has it, we were told that information that Im immediately the train was stopped, the bandits started shooting at everyone, destroyed all the coaches, and then forced the doors of the train open with their bullets, destroyed even the locomotive. So, and then um, getting into the train, they now shot sporadically and then uh, took some people and then some flee to the bush and then uh, even some were injured and even there, there were recorded deaths in the incident. So, and uh, at about 2 a.m., our management now dispatched another train to go and rescue the already attacked train and uh, unfortunately, on getting there, the, the, the portion of the track that was uh, exploded by the bandit was also, the train coming for assistance was also affected by that portion by derailing some of the wheels of the coaches. And so there was no way they, they could be evacuated from that scene using our train that was taking them to Idu. So, uh, but uh, we were told that the uh, soldiers, the security men, and the uh, Red Cross Society helped in evacuating some of the passengers back to Kaduna, while some that were, those that were injured were taken to the hospital. All right, from what we hear, uh, according to the government, um, all trapped passengers um, have been evacuated. Uh, uh, can you tell us more concerning people who um, died or were kidnapped? Uh, uh, did you hear? Um, about any of your members uh, involved in um, the incident of yesterday. God bless you. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, as I talk to you, we I am yet to establish contact with the driver of the train, but um, I was able to establish contact with the assistant driver of the train uh, that uh, is safe. But the driver, for the driver of the train, nobody knows his whereabouts. And also the... Um, mechanical man in charge of uh, electricity of the train was also uh, nowhere to be found at this moment that we still talk. We don't know their whereabouts, whether they have taken safety to the bush or they were taken back to Kaduna or they were affected or kidnapped. We are yet to be properly informed about it as all their lines are not going through. So nobody could really ascertain their whereabouts and their position now. But um, for those that were killed, I am not well informed yet about uh, who and who and who was killed, but I am very sure that uh, some people were actually killed in the incident. Okay, is there any official um, statement from the Nigeria Railway Corporation as uh, regards uh, what happened vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, uh, the union members uh, who you know were involved um, in that particular uh, train ride? Uh, for any statement from them whatsoever? No, no, no official statement from railway management regarding the staff that were injured or affected by the incidents yet. But uh, there's an official statement from railway management uh, saying that the train was under attack and uh, as a result of that, uh, services are suspended until uh, a, a further notice. 
And so those are the official statements I came across but um, at the moment. So, but as I talk to you, they are mobilizing to go. Our men are already on their way to go and start work at the accident site. So, which we are sure that within the few days, they would uh, be cleared. All right, um, Innocent, uh, just before we let you go now, let's talk about um, proffering solutions. Uh, but before that, uh, uh, over time, um, have you had any meeting with, uh, with the railway corporation as regards uh, security along um, the, the rail tracks? Because this is not the first time uh, in a, an incident like this has happened. I remember it happened sometime last year. What has been done since it happened last year? And um, what is the conversation um, like since then? God bless you very well. Uh, you know, um, we met, I met, I personally met a press statement during the attack of last year that took place sometimes, I think on the 20th of July or August, I can't uh, have the accurate uh, date here, but um, I made an official statement. I made a lot of observations. And of course, we as a union advised the management and even the government that they should beef up security on the station even on the track, and even in all our stations. And we also suggested that cameras be put on the train that can show the driver if those were at hand. All right, I was him to have um, lost them, um, comrade them, um, Innocent. Mm -hmm. Innocent, are you still there? All right, uh, Innocent Ajiji is the President General of the Nigeria Union of Railway Workers Union, and he joined us uh, to bring us up to speed as regards uh, the Kaduna Abuja you know, attack that happened yesterday. So, Innocent, can you just wrap up your thought as we uh, round off from this session? Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here. You see, we, we, we keep making statements at each uh, interval. It will interest you to know that I was interviewed by your um television station last year during the three days warning strike we embarked upon and um uh, as a result of the strike we brought up these observations and we even made references to the fact that even the train workers are not insured but the the, the passengers are insured but um after which we were made to understand that actually the, the railway workers are on group life assurance and um but i can stand to tell you that since that policy was introduced nobody from railway has benefited from that why because the process in getting that money by the next of kin is so cumbersome here is a process that if someone dies you have to go to court you have to come to railway management it has to be taken to the ministry of transport it has to be taken to here and there for approval before payment will be done to next of kin so most next of kings that have applied have not benefited why? Because of the cumbersome nature of the, of the process. So that was why we advised that the, uh, the, and, and every railway worker should be placed on personal life insurance. All right. So that when anything happens, you can easily assess the benefit of the disease between the, the nurse of kin and the, and the, and the um, insurance company. But this group life assurance is what we are not in support of because the cumbersome of getting paid is too is too long. So all now right, all these so that much, are innocent. involved in this now, where do we start from? All right, thank you so, so much, this, um, Innocent yeah, Tajiji, you. President General, Nigeria Union of Railway Workers. Uh, thank you so much for your time on the news brief. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.